I keep thinking about the kitchen sink. You see it got all clogged up and this isn't the first time. So if you have problems with your sink being clogged up and you need to get unclogged right now, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you're probably thinking about when your sink's clogged up is you're thinking about going down here and getting in here and disconnecting those pipes and uh, putting a tub under here and draining everything out. And that, that's one way you can do it. I've done that before. But we're going to actually go outside and we're going to drain this and snake it in a different way. Okay, so now we're out back at the drain and I got a, a couple of tubs out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the drain plug off and we're going to drain all that water that's in the sink. We're going to drain it right out, right out back here. And I know where we're at here because this is the window where the kitchen sink is. And then this is the uh, drain plug right back here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and I'll show you how to do that. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this off. That's got a Phillips head in there. We already see the water coming out. Whoa, it got on the rug. Then it stinks. All right, so there's a hole in the plug and it's shooting water out, so. That's not what's supposed to happen. All right, it's so what's supposed to happen. Now we got all that big old mess dealt with and it stinks too. Like I said, we wanna put this chisel in here and use this to turn it, but we can't turn it, so we're gonna use a pair of pliers. All right, now that we got it loosened up, it's coming out. Push the tub up underneath there. Got a backup tub here. It's a lot of damn water. Good thing we had two tubs. And it stinks. And now I stink. All right, so there's all the water from the sink. Look in here, the sink's all clean. Well, it's not clean, but it's empty. Except for these uh, pans that we're soaking in here. We'll leave those for now. We got enough crap out there. I have a clogged sewer drain. So I'm going to go with the foyer sewer jet kit for the pressure washer. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. So it looks like it's got a 50 foot uh, hose and then it's got some uh, fittings here. This would be the sewer jet remover which would be similar to what's on a hydro jet. And then we're going to have the uh, fittings to go on to the pressure washer. So it looks like it's all in the bag there and then it's got some instructions on the back here on how to use it. So here's all of our parts. Okay, well these look identical on both sides. Neither one spins. So I don't think it really matters what side we hook this up to. But is what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hook this this up to one side so we can connect to the pressure washer and we're going to want to hook this up to the other side so that we can shoot in there and clean out the sewer pipe and it's got one hole right here to shoot water out to clean the pipe and then it's got four holes back here to propel the nozzle through the sewer pipe so it cleans as it's going and I'll push it through so we're going to see if this will work to break through that big clog we got out there. It's got some included tape so I don't have to go digging for it. A couple wrenches so I don't have to go digging for those. This we want on pretty good. We don't want this coming off in the drain. That was one of the things I was concerned with. I don't like sticking things down the pipe, taking chances of something getting stuck in there, but that's on pretty good. That's not going anywhere.
All right, so that's the fittings we're gonna use. All right, so we'll just take off the nib. We'll put on this one here. All right, that's in. We'll see what it looks like. That well, looks pretty powerful. All right, well, let's go ahead and stick it in there and see what it does. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this hose down into here. Make sure everything's good, it's on there good. Got it plenty tight. Feels like we're stuck right about there. Let's go ahead and turn it on. and stop and dump our bucket I mean, that looks like a lot of cruds coming out of there that's for sure well it's definitely blowing some of that crud out of there that's some pretty dirty water well if nothing else at least we know it's getting crap out of there
That's the second time I've got that to happen, and then I messed around with it some more and reclogged it. Really? So there's more crud in there. So I might just. Uh, God, that's disgusting looking. Yeah. It's cleaning in a lot more than it was with the Well, there's two ways to get that out of there. One is you break it through and run it down the drain. And if you can't do that, you break it up and wash it back out this way and get rid of the clog that way. getting there. sure you can stop but you see how there's no more water coming back out mm -hmm. that means the water is going down the sewer but we're gonna make sure there's there's no more wedges keep going
got it stuck underneath the uh, chair. All right, go ahead and uh, you have to, it's stuck underneath the chair leg. Okay, then that's. I Don't mean, turn the nozzle on, you'll start spraying water, but it's all tangled up. It's all twisted, that's why it's getting stuck. So we're going to untwist it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I was just saying, I'm like. This hose is really rigid, and it does get uh, kinked up, so you want to uncurl it. It was stuck underneath your. Uh, yeah, but it, it's the reason it's stuck is because it's all kinked up. See how this needs to be done anyway. So if we did this way, it's not going to get stuck because it won't be all kinked up and curling up. Hit it. All right, that's 50 feet of hose in there, and there's nothing coming out. So I think we got it fixed. All that, the rest of that crud went down the sewer. <laughs>